take a quick scan of a college campus and you'll see students using their laptops, playing with their cell phones, or listening to their iPods while they study. As technology improves and debuts newer and better products, people are eager to see and use products that exhibit the latest technology. However, even with the advancements in technology, the majority of people would not be able to use the products of such advancements if it weren't for a field called Human-Computer Interaction, also known as HCI. Human-Computer Interaction is the study of interactions between users and computers. It is also known as Man-Machine Interaction, or Computer-Human Interaction. Since the focus of Human-Computer Interaction is the conjunction of people and computers, it incorporates aspects of both information-related and people-related fields, such as computer graphics, computer science, and cognitive psychology. The main goal of HCI is to improve the interactions between users and their computers by making computers more versatile and receptive to the user's needs. Another goal of HCI is to study the best methods of interface implementation. The application of the interface greatly affects its usability and the user's response to it. Many people involved with HCI also study the techniques for evaluating and comparing interfaces. With a general standard for HCI, they can accurately identify strengths and weaknesses of many different interfaces. HCI is also interested in advancing the development of descriptive, predictable models and theories of interaction. With concrete models and theories, HCI will be able to identify relative constants and make accurate predictions. Ultimately, the overall goal of HCI is to design interfaces that bring humans and computers ever closer together in order to assist them in their daily tasks. Most people can easily learn to use a new product without much instruction because the field of human-computer interaction focuses on making technology easier to interact with for the average user. For example, consistent interface design, suggestive icons, and metaphors are tools used to make products more familiar to people. For example, most users will understand that the trash icon on the desktop of a computer is for unwanted files because it simulates a real trash can. In this way, people have the ability to interact with technology largely because of HCI. When computers first appeared, they were considered machines for computing. Even when the internet was first created, it was seen as a tool to assist in computations. Therefore, until the late 1970s, the only people who interacted with computers were information technology professionals and dedicated hobbyists. However, this changed dramatically when the personal computer became available. The personal computer made everyone a potential computer user. This presented the practical need to improve usability by minimizing the barrier between users and technology. Thus, human-computer interaction became to be seen as a necessary and valuable field. Human-computer interaction present day is a lot more advanced than it was in 1951 when the first commercial computer was built and used to pick presidential winners. Shortly after, the first consumer computers were introduced in 1975. Now there are over 1 billion personal computers in the world, which will soon reach 2 billion by the year 2015, as forecasted by Forrester Research Marketing Company. Back in 1964, there was the first mouse. Now there is touchscreen technology, for example the Microsoft Surface. The intuitive user interface works without a traditional mouse or keyboard, allowing people to interact with content and information on their own, or collaboratively with their friends and families, just like in the real world. Surface is a 30-inch display and a table-like form factor that small groups can use at the same time. Operating systems are used to help humans interact with computers. Just recently, on October 22nd, Microsoft launched Windows 7, their 7th generation Windows operating system. Other operating systems include the Mac OS X from Apple and Karmic Koala from Ubuntu. HCI is rapidly evolving and advances quickly due to the reductions in size, power requirements, and hardware costs. Steve, the 1 p.m. meeting has been brought forward to 8 a.m. There will be a blurring of the line that separates human from computers as the field attempts to bring the two ever closer. In a recent Popular Science article, Melinda Winner writes about an engineer named Adam Wilson who used an electroencephalograph to send a tweet. He plans on more advanced forms of this that connect directly to the brain so that the disabled can control machines with their thoughts. Perhaps the future will be something like this, controlling computers with nothing more than gestures and thoughts. Check calendar. Check mail. Hey Steve, the client got an earlier flight, so we brought the meeting forward to 8 a.m. Reply. No problem. Please print copies of the 1031 report. Pull. Stock, media, and news.
Kush 1, 5, and 7.